Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And uh I wanted to show you that little uh that little clip in the beginning because as of right now, I am finally altering my playstyle a little bit. I'm changing things up. And now if you guys have been watching me for any certain amount of time, usually uh no matter almost anything that happens, I always just go in guns a blazing. Um with no regard whatsoever, but at the same time, um, I've come to realize that, look, if I really want to take to the next level, I gotta change it up a little bit. And no, before any of you guys start thinking, oh my gosh, Jack is gonna turn into a camper, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but the thing is, what I'm doing this time that is making a difference is the fact that I'm letting my enemies do half of the work for me. Um, in other words, instead of me going to them, I let I go about halfway and then I let them do the rest. Because I have a an understanding of the spawn system. I understand how things work in terms of the spawn system and everything. So, instead of me going in there and forcing every single engagement no matter what, I get to... I get close enough to where I'm at a good angle and then I just uh, wait them out or wait for them to make a little mistake and then I capitalize on it. Um, and basically, uh, I don't wait for any more than like, let's say, five seconds, give or take, and if nothing's happened, they don't move, then I move. Then I'll flank, I'll, I just won't go straight into it like I usually do. So, uh, this is something I've known for a long ass time now, but I just haven't really implemented it all that much. So, as of the last few days, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And, uh, let's just say the scores are better, the deaths are a lot less, the score per minute is higher, um, getting more wardens, you name it. So, or, or score streaks, so to speak. It's lately it's been Infinite Warfare because I really don't have much of a reason to play any other Call of Duties as you guys know uh, like for instance Black Ops 3 for instance is uh, the connection is very much hit or miss plus you got those freaking DLC weapons that everybody except me has <laughs> uh, that are uh, that are really really strong so you put those two together it just it just lands for a really unpleasant exper experience so Black Ops 3 is something that I'm not really playing too much right now. Black Ops 2 is just way too damn hacked. I tried to stream it. I think it was oh, last week or something like that. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't find a game that wasn't hacked, so unfortunately uh, that had to be... I had to switch it up. Um, Advanced Warfare, I'd have to be in a certain mood. Uh, so uh, Infinite Warfare, I enjoy. And on top of that, there's the whole weapons grind to go for. So there you go. But um, but anyway, going back on, on topic here. Uh, one of the things... One of the things that I've that is obviously I've come to realize is you know you're, you're looking at some of these really great YouTubers or whatnot that get amazing scores like like when you look at Marker J you know he's usually getting like one or two deaths per gameplay and his scores are absolutely up there and it's it's like you know it's and you can't really blame uh, you can't really say oh he's just got a really good connection oh he's just got a or he's using a scuff controller or a combination of the two I mean you can't really with my personal experience I can tell you. Um, I've got a I've got a pretty good connection. I don't have the best connection, but I've got a pretty good connection, and I use an elite controller now. And I can tell you that it's not all about that. It's basically like some people just have the game down to a science, down to an art at this point, to where they know where to go and what to do from the get go. And as you guys know, the decision making is is a majority of everything in Call of Duty pubs. And if your decision making is really good, and on top of that you got the good aim and the COD experience and the knowledge to go with it. Uh, you're gonna do you're gonna do some amazing stuff. I mean, because anybody, no matter how skilled they are, if they keep on making the wrong decisions, no matter how many how good they are with their gun skill or whatnot, they're gonna die a lot. So, um, if anything, it's it's just something that I think is 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 a very very true thing with my experience, and it's it's an interesting subject because. You know, some people wonder and they and, and they keep on saying, you know, in, in, in the comments section or whatnot or in forums or whatnot, oh, one of the things you need is, you know, you definitely need a good controller and uh, like a scuff or an elite or whatnot and you need, you know, to have the best connection possible. No, I could tell you from my experience that's not the case at all. And as a matter of fact, I've only had an elite controller for like, what, I think the last couple years, give or take, maybe a year and a half to two years at the very most. And I could tell you without a shadow of a doubt that... Um, the controller doesn't make the player. It, it certainly helps, and, and especially with the advanced movement games, there's no doubt about that, especially on those. But if you're talking about, you know, traditional Call of Duty boots on the ground, or if you're if you're talking about just, you know, go a good Call of Duty player in general, I could tell you that the scuff controller is only something that is uh, much something that's just a much easier of a convenience than 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 anything. So 
for those of you guys that, that think out there that a good controller is the solution to every single one of your struggles, I can tell you from experience that it's not. Um, you still have to have good aim, which a, you know, a scuff controller doesn't really help with. It just helps you. It just helps you fire slightly faster, and it helps you jump without having to take your thumbs off of the uh, off of the sticks if you don't play claw or whatnot. So, or if you're not fast enough to do so, like Ronaldinho is. But, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically all it is, really. It's it's basically all down to decision making. Decision making is 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 almost everything. So. Uh, just work on your shots, make good decisions, and good things will come to it. And you'll and, and I've actually come to realize a little bit of patience goes a long way because the next thing you know, the enemies on the enemy team are doing everything for me. In other words, instead of me going to them, they're actually going to be coming to me. And more uh, m more times than not, they actually don't know I'm there. Like at the very end of the of the clip that I showed you guys, you know, there were two people, you know, that were scr sprinting and they both got caught, and they gave me an easy double kill, and there you go, I got my warden. So, um. So yeah, your your enemies will definitely be doing a lot of the work for you. Granted, you do your part right. So, and um, and this is not something to encourage passive play at all. It's just that you just have to know when to rush and when not to rush. So, because um, after all, though, truth be told, what is a rusher? A rusher is just a is just an aggressive defensive player. That's all they are. You know, there's people out there that just like to sit in, in areas that like to have their sights aimed down and they don't like to move very much or if at all. Those are called campers. And then there's the other guys that are running from spawn to spawn and they're doing it right because they understand how the small spawn system works and they understand where to move, when to move, and how to do it and how to implement, you know, those three things at the same time along with their aim and all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's basically the, uh, that's the difference. So, um... So if you find your guy, if you find yourself being aggressive like me or overly aggressive, slowing it down a bit, and since you already know where the enemies are going to be, there's no reason to go all the way in. Go halfway in, and let them do the rest. Let them come to you. And uh, Mark J, even Mark J has said many times, it's like that's fine. I don't. I want my enemies to know where I'm at. So because he's basically controlling it from 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 that standpoint, it's like he's already know he already knows what they're going to do before they're going to do it. So if you can predict things like that on that level, and on top of that you got the gun skill to go with it, you're gonna do some amazing shit. So, um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say, guys. I I wanted to, this to be a little bit different, and you know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be going in with this kind of mindset going into Black Ops Four, and I've been having more fun with Infinite Warfare in doing so because a lot of times you know you'll rush and sometimes you can't overrush. I mean, as, as a matter of fact, I I've done that a lot, and I'm sure you guys have seen it on stream. So. Um, Changing things up just a little bit with some minor adjustments can really take you a long way, especially if you've got the knowledge and, and the skill to, to back it up. So anyway, that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the commentary. And uh, for those of you guys that are struggling, I hope it kind of helped you out or whatnot. So, And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you didn't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.